So I showed you guys earlier, like the strategy, the pullback strategy. You know, to me, it's one of the best. It's one of the best strategies you can use. Um, it helps me, you know, in my trade setups time and time again. Just wait for the the setup is just wait for uh, price to come back to the area of support resist resistance. That's all you're doing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike, and once again, we're looking at the E Mini S and P 500 futures, guys. Um, this is my 12 range chart here that I'm looking at. And what I'm going to do is switch over now to the uh, one hour. But before I get started here, uh, I want to always, like I always do, I want to say thank you to everyone who's subbed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, been liking the videos. And this, if this is your first time watching one of the videos, well, I appreciate you watching today's video. I'm not sure how you found the channel, but just glad you found it. And um, what I do is I'm a live price action trader. So these are my recorded trading sessions that I post to YouTube. Um, just I do so just to you know help those out that are possibly looking to either begin or have already begun or to learn how to trade um, the markets in particular the E-mini S&P 500 futures. I'm a futures trader by by, um, by nature, and this is the market I trade. But using a simple strategy, just trading pullbacks, um, you know, price breaking structure, looking for the uh, retracement onto a pullback to a, a particular support resistance area. And I just look for the failure, the rejection, and then I enter the market. So pretty simple. Um, I have tons of videos on my channel too, where you can go back and take a look at the videos, guys, and see that uh, I do this every day. All right, so let's get started here. I'm looking at the one-hour chart here. This is the chart that I use to kind of uh, primarily kind of form a more so a direction of the market, and <clears throat> we're kind of still moving sideways as we did last um, from last Friday. Uh, we did break this little high right here. Um, I'll take that back. I'm sorry. No, we didn't. We broke this high here. We pushed up. Uh, we haven't closed above this high, this, this area right here yet, which we wicked out. But to me, I'm still looking for a candle to actually close, um, close higher. But let's see if the market actually, what the market's going to do here. Um, right now we are, to me, we're moving sideways and, uh, we're not really breaking any any lows or any highs at this point. So just kind of ranging, uh, moving sideways, more so kind of in a uh, kind of in a wedge in a sense because um, we're not breaking any highs here or like I just said, any lows. But but this is the one hour. So um, being that we're kind of moving sideways, you can kind of take trades, either shorts or sales, you know. Um, but right now, I probably would be interested in taking more so uh, long entries because of the bias. Or direction when price broke this high here pushed up pull back you know just kind of move aside with a price broke structure right here so when i see price breaking structure on a on a one hour chart to the upside basically pushing up okay now just because it broke right here my bias doesn't flip automatically to go long i have to see an actual swing to the upside price closing above this high right here forming a swing to the upside so that at that point breaking this high here okay the swing right here then breaking a the swing high here, pulling back, you know, when it pushes up, forming a swing, that tells me that price, uh, my direction in the market would, would so at that point be looking more so for um, short entries. Um, okay, I mean, excuse me, long entries, not, not short entries, but long entries. We haven't broke this area here to the downside, this uh, low right here. So we're just kind of moving sideways right now. And we looks like we're attempting to try to move or push higher and break today's high. So. So right now you can trade either direction, I'd say, um, either either particular direction. Uh, but price did on the swing up, pushed up here, pull back, push higher. Okay, then it actually uh, turned back around and broke the low right here. Okay, and at this moment here, we're going to have to take out this high right here. Okay, if we're going to want to push higher, so we do have the break structure here to the upside. Okay, um, and breaking this high right here if we want to continue pushing higher. Okay. So, uh, right now the market is just kind of moving sideways in a sense, I'd say. So, let's take a look. Okay, so basically what I do is I just look for the same type of trade setup in a sense. I'm just looking for trading based on uh, pure rejection um, on pullbacks. Okay, so we're breaking today's high. We, we, we broke through today's high. You can see it here on the 12 range chart. Um, and yes, the ES has broke the highs for the day. We need to break this area here though, okay? Um, it looks like it's trying to break that area now to the upside. So let's see what happens here. Um, my volume profile, my 60 minute or one hour chart is currently not, um, 
it's disappeared. But okay, I'm gonna stretch this and bring this up some. So we're gonna look at the side by side on the um, 12 range and the four range charts. Okay, so right now price has broke um, today's high. So we are breaking structure to the upside. We're gonna be breaking this 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 high right here. Price pushed up, pull back, boom. Okay, breaking structure to the upside. Okay, so we'll look at the 12 range now to see if we can catch any kind of particular um, possible levels that we could actually look for. And I would go ahead and mark this area right here. Okay, in the same trade setup, guys. This is the best trade setup that I use. Um, this is my particular you know strategy that I use or trade setup that I use. Um, Time and time again, I look for the same type of setup. Just basically price going back to support and resistance area, looking for the rejection, take the end of the market. Okay, once I see the rejection, I'm into the market. And the 12 range chart is the chart that I, I um, mark my levels off of. Okay, and then I'll switch over. I kind of look at the four range once we get to that area to see if the if it's going to be confirmed re rejection in that area. Okay, so right now I would like to see price pull back to this high volume area. I like to always talk about buying the low, selling the high, so price pulls back, see if we can get some rejection in this area um, to push the market higher. Or at least get a rejection. You know, the market come back to the area and we get a bounce here, okay? So just waiting for the opportunity, guys. The market uh, end up opening up at, um, let's see, 930 right around this area right here, okay? And this right here, this area, we could actually be taking a, I believe, a rejection that goes short. Let's see. When the market um, pushed up higher here, pushed up higher, Overnight around almost midnight, one o'clock in the morning, somewhere around there. Um, it actually started, you know, turning around and pivoted, so selling off, uh, breaking structure right here to the downside. So the market had pushed up here, pulled back, pushed higher, then it, it uh, sold off, breaking structure right here. So then you gotta look to see, okay, where's the pullback entry that I can actually potentially get into on the pullback, okay? The opportunity, all right? Price makes a low here, all right? Makes a low, pulls back. I'm looking for a area resistance, okay? So price broke support. I'm looking for a pullback to an area of resistance. Pretty much tucked back inside the area of the swing. I'm looking for price to pull back to supply, which supply to me is going to be, uh, let's see, this area right here. Okay. So when price pulls back, yes, it is looking at it it's in hindsight, but this is around the area where the the market opened up and started rotating. Okay. So there was a short. What I'm trying to say in this area here. Uh, same particular strategy. Look for price to break structure. It broke structure. Broke this swing, pushed to the upside. Price comes back, pushes lower, break structure. Now we're looking for the swing and pullback. So let's draw this out on the, with an arrow, guys, so you guys can kind of visualize it, okay? Market pushes up, pulls back. Swings higher. What did it do right here? When pushed up, broke structure to the upside, okay? Now I made a high here, okay? So what happens then? It starts to form swings to the downside, making uh, lower lows and higher. Excuse me, lower lows. Um, sorry about that. Making lower lows and lower highs, I'm trying to say. Okay. And let's see. Made a low here. Boom, made a low right there. Okay. Pull it back. And then it pushes lower. Say like that, okay? Then we're looking for the pullback, right? Okay. So I'm looking for an opportunity uh, within this movement to the downside, okay? that pretty much the area or area or swing that actually put a push lower taking out the structure right here and this to me um when i look at the um i'll say the most um I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the high volume areas as well okay all right i'm looking for the most opportune areas because an area where i know price will pull back to where there's significant volume the price is here right now pulls back to an area of significant volume supported by a swing and this is the area right here okay because when price pushed down it pulled back lots of selling came out of this area here so i would wait for price to pull back either here but if i wait for price to pull right here what did i tell you guys in the last video price pulls back right here okay it's setting itself up for this liquidity it pulls right back to the area of resistance okay I want to see price pull back into the area of supply where most of the selling originated from. So what does it do? Institutions fake you out, stop you out on the way back up, grab a liquidity, and it pulls right back into the area where I had the purple line here, 
which is the area of supply, it kind of bounces around and then boom. Okay, that's what they do. All right. So if you take a short, I'm not saying you can't take a short right of resistance. Okay, when price broke structure here to the downside, pull back and then push lower, pull right back to structure, which is resistance. Yes, you can. There's an opportunity to go short there, but be mindful of what is going on here. What is going on is that they're pulling price back, checking the area of resistance, a bounce, liquidity setting up. This is how they, it's the game they play to stop traders out, okay? You, you, you get into a trade, oh, I'm in the money. Then they turn that joker back around the institutions and stop you out to grab your money. And then they then they take the market in the intended directions, back in, in the intended direction. So understand the game. It's a game of chess of how they play, okay? I keep saying, telling guys that as retail traders, we do not push and pull the market. Um, it's the big, the big banks, the big institutions. They have the money to drive the markets. Okay. All right. So that's there was an opportunity to go short right here. There's an opportunity to go short right here, right at the uh, pullback to the area of structure or the area where price broke structure right here. So one opportunity. Be mindful where price could, you know, um, be a short-lived trade, but you could take it if you see the rejection. Then right here when they pull it back into the area of supply okay all right so that was an opportunity right there right now what i was looking for was price to price to pull back here but prices is really um it's really blasting to the upside like it's, we're very bullish this morning all right so price is bouncing this area right here and there is area of uh, this is the area of resistance i'll show it to you on the 12 range chart guys so i'm just trying to see what the market um what is actually doing right here So price is bouncing. You see it forming volume right here in this area. Typically, we can see price forming volume at an area of a support and resistance, um, especially where you know one that is a high probability uh, area of support and resistance. Then, in forming volume, then that's the sign of rejection. Okay, I'm just not. Let's take a look at the form range as well. If price rejects here, it, it come down back down to this high volume area. So I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving sideways right now. So uh, it could push higher, but there is an area of um, I'm trying to show you guys this let's see where is it at let's go back here it is right here price came up to this area right here okay as a high volume node okay area rejection all right this is an area right here this is uh supply okay see it that red line price bouncing off of it this is an area of resistance right there, guys. It can push higher. I'm not saying that it's going to completely bounce and push down here, but um, <clears throat> you see on the four range where it's just moving sideways, so building volume on the four range, building volume on the 12 range, um, and it may continue pushing higher. But be mindful, we are in an area of resistance right now. All right, so now if we can break higher, uh, push continue pushing higher, when price breaks this line, this red line here at forty four sixty, I mean we could we could uh, push higher um, and possibly test. Let's see, because I marked it off here somewhere. Yeah, we break forty four sixty. We could come up here and test uh, this area period forty four sixty seven, forty four sixty eight. So we'll see. I'm not sure, but right now I mentioned this area right here, this blocked area right here, this swing. This is an area of resistance. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, I, I mentioned this line here. It has to break above. So what I want to see, I would like to see price do is push up, pull back, break higher, breaking structure, pull back. And then when it pulls back and breaks structure again, then we can 
go long. So basically what I'm trying to show you is something like this right here. Okay, let me be careful here because price can't break lower. Let's be careful. Okay. Let me look at the uh, floor range here. Price breaks uh, 49. Uh, let's see. 49 and just come on down here to 47. Uh, I gotta be careful. <clears throat> so what I was trying to say was that as price pushes up here, it's gonna pull back, breaks higher, okay, above this red line here. I want to see price pull back, okay, to support and then break above. It breaks above this area here. Say for instance, I'm going long, okay, guys. All right, so we'll see what happens. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm short. I mean, I'm long. I'm long right now. Okay. I'm taking a quick long. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Forty-four fifty-five. Come on. Come on, baby. Scalping. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna take this trade out. Don't like what's going on here. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking that trade out. It probably come up to this area right here. Fifty six. Yeah, got chicken out there. It's okay. No problem. Still rotating. It could break to the downside, okay? So, see they're going to go. Well, it can only go up or down, right? So, break lower below 49 and a half. I'll take a quick little short, maybe, if I can get into it. If not, if it breaks above 60, I'm going long. Yep, just mentioned. My long was correct. All right, that's okay. All right, so let's say price is going to break above and do it and, and and kind of do what I said it said it would possibly could do. Uh, all right. But it's got to break above 60 and a half. Okay. I need to see the pullback. Come on. Yeah, the markets are moving to the upside, guys. Seem like they're kind of ripping to the upside here. Let's see. Ah. I would like to see price pull back and then break higher. <clears throat> okay, so we broke this area here, right? Um, let me see one thing right quick. Go back, go back to that area there. Where we at? Okay. A 
Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, sixty and a half. Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so the dilemma we're dealing with right now is this area here from the 21st of January. We have all the sideways movement here. Price uh, push down, pull back, push lower, pull back, push lower. Okay, it broke a high here. Okay, and then it just pushed lower. Okay, so this is all the sideways action right here. You gotta be careful because, I mean, this just at any point price could pause and just either. Continue pushing the upside or pushing the downside. So the market direction is unclear at this point here because it is, I mean, we are pushing to the upside, don't get me wrong, you know, we're bullish. But the fact is we have all this area of resistance right here where price could stop in between and turn back around and push and push lower. So uh, we need for it to see it start breaking, you know, breaking structure back to the upside. I mean, taking out structure highs and then, you know, pulling back. So that's the key to it. All right, so price is, Still rejecting up in this area here, which is at the top the top end of the high volume area here on the 12 range. So yep, see that area just rejected where I marked it at? It rejected that area. Alright. A little difficult today. Um not not too much going on, to be honest with you. Uh we opened up, like I said, right around this area and we just pushed higher. So um it, you know. Here would be an opportunity if price could ever come back to this area. Um, to me, I like this area right here uh, as well. Well, I think that may be, let's see what happens here. Right here, if price can come back here, I, I'm definitely interested, okay? So we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. It's a price broke structure right here. When it uh, pivoted right here, pushed lower, broke structure, broke through this this that low right here. The movement to the upside, price pulled back, when price came back, it broke structure right here to the downside. So um now it's kind of breaking back into the structure going to the upside here. So we have a high volume area here, price could pause. So uh let's see what happens here. Let's see, let's see. I'm not sure what the market's gonna do here. We can break higher. Um closing above. Price could possibly come back up to here to this area here at forty four fifty eight. But we can come out here. Let's see what happens right here. Looks like he's trying to break upside, but we have volume right here. So let's see if price push back, pull back to the volume, and bounce higher. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Pull back. Fifty seven seventy five. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. All right.
Yeah, that's a little tricky trade here. It's a little tricky. Tricky trade. Don't want to. This is what I don't recommend. You know, I'm taking a break of this price breaking back above, breaking through the structure right here. So what I like to see it do is actually break above the swing and then pull back to volume. And then when the candle closes, closes higher, we go long to this area here. So I'm way early on the trade. Okay, and that's why I'm taking this heat because I'm right here at the top volume area. So you want to see price break above the volume area, pull back to it. Okay, not take a trade right at it. All right. I'm looking to take this trade right up to this area right here, okay? Took on some heat. Come on, push higher. Now, at this opportunity, at this point, it can actually pull back again before pushing higher. So, all right, first contracts field. I don't know if we'll get up here. Hopefully, we will. I'm going to put my second contract right here. Actually, at 56.75. Come on. We'll come down with it. Come on, come on. Bounce. Ah, bounce right off my. Feel it. We'll take profit. There we go. Took profit right there. All right. It possibly should come up here to this area. Like I said, 57 and a half. It bounced right at 56 and a quarter. So, all right. It's pulling back to the high volume area. It could possibly bounce back again and push up and feel that, feel this area here. Okay. All right. So a quick little scout there. Now let's see what we're up for for today. Today is the um, 31st. Um, just up 24 ticks right now, guys. 24 ticks. Not too much going on today in the market so far. Yeah, price pulling back. Okay. Ah, uh, there it goes. So it could come down here to this high volume note now. Um, let's see here. Price. Uh, yeah, bouncing right here. Test this area right here. Okay, push lower. Let's see. And that is just the, the trade setup I use. This is the um, best trade set that uh, trade strategy I found. And you just look for the right setups to use the trade strategy correctly. So, okay, the trade set. The trade setup is just basically using the strategy, looking for the setups for for price pulls back, it breaks through structure, pulls back to um, either support and resistance, and look for the area, or, you know, wait for the rejection, and and and. Uh, That's what you wait for. I'm taking a quick scalp. 53. Come on. Mm, price is bouncing right here. Come on. Quick scalp. Come on. My goodness. Ah, I'm just going to close. Ah, I don't like what price is doing here. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this trade out. Don't like what price is doing here. Shit, <clears throat> it's moving sideways right now. So looks like it's just consolidating. That's fine. It could break lower. Yeah, uh, market probably trying to break lower here, and um, 
from down here and test this area here. More than likely, more than likely. I'd like to see it come down and test this area right here, though. Right here around the uh, 33 area. Yeah, let's see. Yep. Quick scalp. Quick scalp. Boom, first contract. Come on. Come on, lower. <clears throat> Just scalping. 25. Ah, come on, what you doing? Huh. I'm looking forward to come down to 4425. Hasn't hit that area yet. Oh, it's bouncing. Come on. Look at that. Crazy. Forty four twenty five. I'm looking for it to come down to. Look at that. <laughs> Because we're at this high volume though, that's why that, that major high volume area right there. So just be careful. Yeah. Just waiting for it to come down for a few come down a few more ticks, but we can bounce in this area here. We're bouncing off this high volume area right here, so be careful. Nah, I shouldn't even play around with it here. I should go ahead and just close it out. I do not like price action today. I really don't, guys. Yep, we'll take it out. Watch it come down here. Watch it come down to like the 44, 44 and a quarter area. But if it breaks, um, yeah, breaks this area here, we can have a landslide down to this area right here. So we'll see. Price is bounce off the top of white area right here. So I showed you guys earlier, like the strategy, the pullback strategy. You know, to me, it's one of the best. It's one of the best strategies you can use. Um, it helps me, you know, in my trade setups time and time again. Just wait for the, the setup and just wait for uh, price to come back to the area of support resist resistance. That's all you're doing. You know, those areas that where you see price breaking structure, then price comes back to a supporting swing or back to supporting area resistance. Wait for the rejection. Take the trade. That's the trade setup. And I just showed you guys an example of that just uh, in the first part of this video. Today is not giving us too many opportunities to do much. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the market's doing. I right, see it coming down. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we got a little small, not quite a channel yet, but price breaks lower. We start to form a channel to the downside. Hmm.
There you go, see, it busted it outside. Okay, now this, what's price trying to do here? Test this area here now. Uh, I believe price is gonna break lower at some point, come down here and test this, this area here. Let's see. But we could, we could definitely get a quick little bounce to the back to the upside before pushes lower. This is following price action, price patterns, you know, what the what the market is doing. Hmm. It's a crazy market. Alright, I'm long. Yep, yep. I'm gonna take a long guys. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. All right, quick long. Uh, it is paused up in this area right here. This high volume knows that right here at 44, 50, 44 and a half. Okay, half number there. Um, look, the reason why I took that trade there is because I saw uh, when price came down to this area of support right here. You know, it, it pushed down, and I was waiting to see if it was gonna come back down to the lower end of it. Okay, it pushed down, pull back. It couldn't break lower, so it has not made a lower low yet, okay? Um, you know, closing with the red count to the downside. So this rejection could have been a bounce to go higher, but you don't take the rejection right here because you have a little swing level right here. So I wait for price to pull back, uh, break back through this little swing level, pull back into this small little area of demand right here. And when this candle here broke um, to the upside here, green, right above the top volume node, I, could, I knew to go long and it would, pause in this area right here so this was a small play off of again the trade setup as simple as that i mean i'll draw it with the little rectangle here this area here was a small little area of demand okay price didn't break lower it didn't make a low here so rejection happened right here okay all right but we have a swing here so we just can't take the trade on rejection right here because you have a swing which is resistance right here but when price broke back above this area right here, broke into it, broke broke into um, resistance, pulled back to the area of, of support here, which was demand. When that green candle closed to the upside, I went long. Okay, so that's how you play that uh, type of trade setup. Okay, same thing. Pull back. It's nothing more than just using the pullback strategy. Okay. Um, so I'm looking at my trade performance today and seeing where we're at now. Now that gives us 38 ticks for today, okay? All right. Ah, uh, okay. So we're pulling back right now. Yep. Pulling back right now. Yeah, the question is going to be, are we going to break this high right here to push higher? All right. Are we going to break that high to push higher? That's the question. And more than likely, we break this high and push, break this high right here. I mean, the market's probably going to push up to around the 67, 68 area before it pauses again. So let's see what happens. If, if that's going to happen, I'm... I'm Probably gonna go ahead and close this video out here. You guys are watching it now. So, um, but here's a high here, you know, the structure here. Price breaks this area of resistance, area of structure, you can pull back and there could be a long opportunity to go long. Um, but if we break this area here to the upside, price can definitely pull or move forward or push higher to, let's see. Where was it at? Uh, it was from January 20, 21st. 
Oh, a couple more days. Uh, we can pull up and test this area right here. I'll mark it off for you guys so you guys can see it. We can test this area right here. Right here, this swing. Where does that put us at? That 67 to 68 area, okay? Guys, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to, again and again, just show you the, you know, the strategy. Looking for the trade setups. All it is is looking for price to pull back to the, you know, pull back to areas of support and resistance um, uh, le to levels that you're marking your chart. Wait for the rejection. If you don't get the rejection, then you don't take a trade, okay? Um, as simple as that. So that's, you know, that's what I use. That's what I use each and every day. That's the best trade set setup that I can, you know, pretty much offer or pretty much talk about that's what i've been doing all the time every, about every single day guys in my videos just showing you how you use it to be the uh the strategy in my and, and looking for setups in the market pattern setups is all i do and um but you got to be able to understand market structure you gotta understand market structure and be able to follow price movement or price action okay that's the key to it so i hope you guys can take something away from this video today um not too 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 many opportunities today the markets have been just kind of bullish this morning but uh and we could break that high that we have currently right here on the swing to the upside at 62 and then you know we'll see what happens there but anyways if you have not subscribed to the channel guys we would really appreciate it. we'd like to you know would love to when i say we i mean we as a team we'd like to get, have you guys on the uh the you know the team here and um let's go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind you know and you find the content valuable um i trade the same Type of strategy every single day. Everybody knows that can follow my channel. I have over 100 some videos on the channel that shows how you know me trading the same strategy. These are my recorded trading sessions, and I, I'm doing this just to um, maybe help someone along. That's all I'm doing for you know. It's I, I believe in, in, in any knowledge or, or wisdom that you may have, or knowledge you've learned in time, or information you've learned. Share with other individuals. We can't take this stuff with us, you know. Help help someone else out that may be uh really in dire straits of trying to really figure out things and that little piece that you may know maybe the puzzle that puts the whole thing together in a person's mind to be able to, for them to see it because i was told many years ago you will see it one day and when you see it it will click and it did okay so guys i'm signing out i uh want to tell everyone if you're trading please be safe in the markets so i'll see you in tomorrow's video take care and have a great one